My name is Liz Buckle. I'm aged 50. My solidomide condition is, as you can see, short arms. Um, I've also got incomplete shoulders. Um, so that makes you know, what, I, what I do have in my arms quite um, weak. I live on an island called Blissmore on the west coast of Scotland. I haven't always lived there. I've moved around a lot, and especially for my working life. My career was 24 years working firstly in the conservation world, um, giving conservation advice and assessing land management situations. I also managed a team of people. Through most of my work, I, I drove myself in a car, an un unadapted car. Um, some years I, I did as much as 30,000 miles a year, um, driving to meetings and site visits and all sorts of things like that. Um, it's actually the driving and working the computer turned out to be the major strain. Um, and as, as time went on, that became more and more physically demanding of me. I actually got very, very sick. Um, I, my back pain was extraordinary. I used to sort of come home from work, um, come in the door, perhaps make the dinner, but then I would spend the entire evening laid flat on the floor, absolutely exhausted and you know, absolutely aching from head to toe. I was taking a lot of painkillers um, and I was often physically sick by the end of the day um, because I was reacting badly to all these painkillers. So I knew I was struggling in those last few years particularly, but I wasn't quite sure why. And I started discussing this issue with other thalidomiders and the people in the Thalidomide Trust. But I realised I wasn't alone. I was not the only one having these problems. Um, and at first, actually, I, I thought it was, it was something like multiple sclerosis. I had many of the symptoms that a, an MS sufferer has. Um, but in fact, it's turned out to be um, wear and tear symptoms, you know, common to, to all of us thalidomiders. It was at the age of 44 that I decided to stop working. It was devastating at first. Um, I was absolutely gutted. I did not want to give up my work. I love my work. I got a lot of fulfilment out of it. Um, I had no, never actually envisaged giving up so early. I thought perhaps I might have to give up a bit earlier than normal people, but not that early. I was in a managerial position, so therefore I was earning quite a decent salary. And then suddenly, bang, that stopped. The psychological impacts were much greater than I expected on my self-esteem. I lost a huge amount of confidence. For a couple of years, I think I could probably say that I had had a, you know, a breakdown, a breakdown. I was really finding it difficult to feel positively about anything. I was feeling guilty um, for not working. Um, people were saying, oh, come on, Liz, you've done lots, lots of great things. You shouldn't feel guilty now. But I did. Um, and I felt as though I had to sort of constantly justify my existence. Giving up work has been the first time I've had to give up. You know, I am weak. I can't do all the things I want to do. Um, and I do feel a sense of, of resentment and, and failure. Um, yeah, I find it quite tough, to be honest. I do. I don't want to be in this situation, really. <laughs> now I've got more time um, to myself, I do some nice things. Um, I've learned um, to do canoeing and sailing. I do a lot of arty type things. I've, I've learned to paint. So yeah, I am enjoying my, my newfound freedom. I guess I would have just liked to have had the choice of, of you know, directing when that would have happened rather than my body telling me when I had to stop and doing it in such a violent way, really. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a pretty bad breakdown, but you know, I'm making the most of it now.